What's up guys, Stu here, back with another episode of Raid 101. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into one of the most important mechanics in the game, the turn meter. So let's get into it. What does that little yellow bar above our players mean and how does it work? What are the things behind the scenes that we don't want to tell you? So let's see, <laughs> basically it's just your turn meter, come on, it's like anything else you know in the game. If you're fast, you're fast. If you're slow, you're dead. <laughs> I mean. That's just how it is. Get fast or get dead. Either one you pick is the way you want to be. All your guys need speed in the game. This is my alt account. As you can see, I am not on my main account. So my main account is farming away at Spiders 20 right now. We have, we have Cupid is, we have some other things. So basically, if you are faster than the other person, you will go before the other person. If you have doubled the speed of the other person, you can lap the people in this game and take two turns to their one turn it is possible now you have speed boost you have speed increase we know that speed increase of 30 percent increases your total speed by 30 percent so if you have 200 you're gonna go to 200 and what what's 30 260 is that right is my math right two 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 260 right so so you go to 260 if you are both at 100 and, and your team does a, a turn meter increase then you will go before the other person, even if they were queued to go next. If your guy is going, they were queued to go next, you do a speed increase or a turn media increase, and it's enough for that next tick after you take your turn, that they call it the ticks of the clock, he was saying, Hunter was, on the raid video, then yes, you are going to go before the other person. If they are comparable speeds and they were just a little bit ahead of you, you're going to boost and go ahead of them. So you can use turn meter manip manipulation, of course, and speed increase. So... so it's what we've always done and any of the things that you've seen with my videos and any other videos that you've been talking about. If you have a three turn farmer, if you've got Kale or somebody and you're just starting out and he's your main farmer, you want him fast so he can take two turns to the enemy's one turn in the waves because he is not an exact, if it was, if it was Bellower, and you just need to be one faster than the, the wave because you're going to clear the wave in one total hit, no problem. That's all you need to be is one faster. If you're somebody like Kale and you have a three-turn cooldown and you want to take multiple turns before the enemy does, then you can get more speed than they have, speed enough easily that you can double turn them, and that way you're taking two turns of their ones. You're shrugging off debuffs if you need to coming up. You're taking two turns, so you're lowering your cooldowns quickly, and you're good to go. You can do that in the game. If you're fighting the clan boss, you want to have really high speed so that you can two turn, two turn the clan boss and take advantage of that, lower your cooldowns, go faster, do more damage, be prepared for when the clan boss comes around. Ultra, even still with Ultra, you can get your guys up. We're getting gear. You can get your whole team up to 280 or something, 300, giving them a speed boost, 30% increased speed. 30% increased speed on 300 would give you 390 speed. You're going to double the clan boss. Is that impossible? No, it's not impossible nowadays. You can do that, especially if you have a good healer. If you have the means to do it, if you have the right champions, you can still do it even on ultra. When they come out with new things that boost our champions, if they boost it speed wise, we'll definitely be able to, to turn the ultra clan boss eventually. So you can still do it on ultra. Should you do it on ultra? This depends on your team. Should you do it on, on Nightmare and everything else? For sure on Nightmare, for sure on the other ones. It's easy to do. We've all done it time and time again until now. Do you need to do it in PvP? It always helps. Even if you have a defensive team, <laughs> you know, being fast is what you need to do. I always talk about being fast, even in waves of dragons. If you're fighting waves in the dragons, you want to be fast. You want to be faster than them. You want to take two turns of their one. You want to take three turns to their one if you can. If you can do like we used to do in old school gotcha games, apply a slow speed on them, increase your speed, and then do turn meter reduction on them, then they're hardly ever going, and you're going all the time. It's what we do right now on Fire Knight. When the Fire Knight gets its shield down, we try to drop him turn meter as much as we can. Take advantage of that. Put a slow speed on him. Speed us up. And boom, keep pounding on the Fire Knight until he is dead so he doesn't get a chance to reapply the speed. Same thing with Spiders 20, Spiders in general. The only good way, effective way, if you don't have a monster team, is to keep lowering the main Spiders turn meter. Which is very hard to do because there aren't a lot of good champions out there in the uncommon, rare category, and even in the epic category. To really drop the, the main Spiders turn meter to keep her down <laughs> and all the other stuff. So any takeaway from the video that you saw that Polarium just came out with recently on Raid 101, how to do turn meter and what it all means. It's just that 
you want to be fast you want to be fast no matter what you're doing you always want to be fast you want to make sure and try to eventually always two turn whatever you're fighting even if it's in pvp you want to be as fast as you can so you can go first set up you want turn meter boost so that even if they're a little bit faster than you for the rest you know you keep your arbiter as the fastest she's going to do a 30 percent increased turn boost turn meter boost to your team even if your guys aren't at her 300 speed plus whatever she has it still brings them up do you want the rest of your team to be at 300 plus yes you still do in game if you want to be the fastest of the <laughs> fastest of the fast you still want all the rest of your guys to be very fast because even that 30 percent isn't always going to beat out over somebody else with the arbiter with it with an arbiter and an apothecary with them or an arbiter and a seeker with them to get two boosts and then to mow you down now if you're playing a defensive team do you still want to be fast? Yes, you still want to be fast. You cannot play a defensive team and be a turtle and get too turned on. You don't have to be the fast of the fast, but you still need to be fast. So speed is always everything. Any piece of gear I ever look at in the game, it has to have speed on it. Otherwise, I just I don't bother with it. If it's something that is completely crazy and has just a, a crazy amount of crit on it, I roll it once or twice. If it's legendary, maybe even then i still don't keep it it needs to have speed if it has speed plus five or something and then i roll a whole bunch of some other stat i'll still keep it around because then if i need a whole bunch of crit and i have that plus five speed it's still there for an option right so i still keep it around if you farm enough gear over time you will eventually come to the same conclusion you will be like hey this other gear isn't worth me keeping until i get speed on it and that's only later on down the line way later on down the line don't worry about that right now of course whatever you have gear you have to work with what you have but in general get your speed up i see a lot of times all the times on people's account that their speed is too low their hp is too low their defense is too low so they're getting just beat down because they want to come in and just blow this harder content down you can't do that you can't just come in and blow the harder content down until you're way later down and you're ready really 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 prepared and really ready to do that so first off you just got to be fast and you got to be able to survive from that being fast and survivable point taking multiple turns you will slowly see that hey I can add in a little bit more DPS, slow down on my survivability, but keep my speed up, of course, and go further into doing faster runs. But that is basically it for speed. You, of course, you want that speed increase. Since speed increase of 30% buff increases your overall speed if you have 300 speed and you go from 300 to 390, that is a crazy amount of increased speed, which means overall DPS is going to rise up a tremendous amount and all your guys are going to go up dps wise so it's always great to have you want to have that in almost everything you do unless you're building spe specific special teams there are a lot of them out there there are a lot of special teams that can get you through there's a lot of counter-attack teams but even still with the counter-attack teams with with ultra uh, i mean with nightmare clan boss we'd still went mad speed with a lot of those teams i did and did just fine no problems whatsoever because i could come back around always have my counter-attack up for when the, the the nightmare clan boss would attack and just do it auto not have to worry about it because nobody's got time to manual the ultra clan boss all the time so now they're doing different speed tuning for it that is a different case but in general speed is speed if you got speed you're good if you don't got speed you're dead in this game and that's the truth you really are dead so focus on speed always keep up your speed look for speed and gear survivability number one if you're diving if you're dying then speed number two and then dps last dps last speed is always most important you can't do any damage if you're dead and then from the point for where you're surviving and doing damage you you will see where you can you know change it up and switch over to more dps unless you're building your speed farmer which then you just need it a little bit faster than whatever waves you're killing because you're going to clear them out in one hit clear them out in one hit so that's a different story but in general speed is everything so you want speed what Plarium talked about with the speed ticks and speed increases, it's just speed, man. You get a 30% increase, you can jump above other people, of course. You've seen it happen. <laughs> Nothing new. If you have a speed increase, same thing. You can lap people. You can double turn people. You can drop their turn meters down. It's all the same thing. It's very easy to understand. If you have any questions, leave me some comments in the... <laughs> leave me a comment below. Everybody else reads them as well. And I will see you all on the next video if i can figure out how to turn this off all right guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you then